Hey guys, this is Stacia the Cunning Mom and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how I do this crochet here. Um, it's V8910 and pretty much what that means, it's it has three lengths in the packet, um, 8, 9, and 10 inches. Um, and it says that it's it says one pack is enough. Now, knowing myself, I ran out of hair the last time I tried some curly um, crochet hair. So I bought two packs just in case so I don't um, run into that issue. Um, so it says one pack is enough. This is the Water Wave. And um, yeah, it's Zuri hair. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. I bought it directly from their website because um, when I purchased on Amazon, it wasn't coming directly from Amazon and it was gonna take like forever to get here. So I purchased it um, from, uh, I'll leave the link for the website where I got this. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Now I'm all about healthy hair. I am relaxed. Uh, it's my hair. I just washed it and um, I just detangled it and it's damp right now. I wanted to try something a little different uh, when I'm crocheting my hair. I want to do um, some crochets with no cornrows. So this is a tutorial on how to do crochets with no cornrows. So let's get started. them up. All right, my hair is all pinned up and I basically just kind of wrapped all the braids around and I, and I used hair clips to pin them down. Now I have my meshed stocking cap. I'm gonna put this over my head. It's behind my ear. My hair can breathe. And notice I put where I put the cap, it's um, not all the way to my hairline. I just have it stop there. I'm gonna use some edge control to get the front neatly. secure that so you don't have to put a whole lot all right so we have this right here so we're just gonna put a knot in that there's a knot and we're gonna cut that off And I'm gonna show you the back of my hair now. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet our hair onto the cap. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start out with the eight inches, which will be on the bottom, and nine will be in the middle, and 10 will be on top.
so I'm done putting in my crochets and I actually did go into the second pack. I shouldn't have needed to go into the second pack, but um, I did. I think I should have spaced it out a little bit more in the back. You see how big it is on the back? It's really big. So um, I should have spaced it out a little bit more, um, but that's okay. Uh, I went to the second pack and I didn't use a whole lot of it. I just needed some more to fill in the front. So we have my, I have my part right here, but of course I have a cap on, so there's this line there. So I'm gonna go cut that right now. I'm gonna lift it up some, and I'm going to put a little snip right there. Just a snip, so you see my part. All right, so the hair is all in, and it needs a little bit of shaping. As you can see, it already created its natural shape because there were three layers, three lengths of hair. So it kind of created its own natural shape, but it still needs a little bit more shaping for me. So that's it I am all done and what I really like about this method um, no cornrows and me putting on the mesh cap is that I didn't have to um, put the crochet directly on my hair it's on the cap there are some parts where um, I did um, connect it to my hair and especially the front because I had to cut um, the cap so that my part can show so when I inserted the hair at the front I try to make sure that I did catch some of my hair um, With that just so that it stays in place. So the cap stays in place um, Yeah, but this is definitely a healthier method. I'm always trying to find like new ways of doing styles that's a little bit more healthier for my hair. So this is definitely a healthier method of doing your crochet. with these curls I love the shape um, totally love the shape and I didn't have to do a lot of work to get this shape having the three lengths 8 9 and 10 created the shape really so this is absolutely gorgeous and I am definitely gonna be doing these again I think this will be my go-to hair anytime I need this curly bob hairstyle that will be my go-to here it's the first time I use this hair all right, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.